Good morning children. How are you all? I hope you all are very good. Children, have you watched today online class? I think you enjoyed a lot with that story. Now, here is that story text reading. The story is about the witty Nasruddin. Are you ready children? Then let's start. The Witty Nasruddin A poor traveler was walking through the streets of AK Shahir. He had a little to eat for two days. He had spent his last penny and all that remained in his pockets was a piece of dry bread. As he passed by an eating house, he saw several people sitting around the fire, eating and drinking. On the fire, there was a large cooking pot full of meatballs, giving off a lovely smell. You can be sure that this smell made the hungry man's mouth water. The owner of the eating house stood there, serving his customers. He asked the traveler if he wanted to buy some meatballs, but the poor man turned away. A man without money never buys anything, he said. The traveler walked to and fro, enjoying the smell. He took the piece of dry bread out of his pocket and held it over the pot. After a minute or two, he slowly ate the bread and he tried to imagine that it tasted better when he had the smell of meatballs. The eating housekeeper got angry when he saw the man doing this. He took hold of his arm roughly and hurried him around the corner to the magistrate's court. It happened that Nasruddin, the Horja, was acting as magistrate that day. When he asked what the matter was, the heating housekeeper said to him, This man came into my eating house without any money and helped himself with the smell of the meatballs, which were cooking in the pot. He must be forced to pay me. The Hoja took two pennies from his pocket, put them between his hands and shook them together backwards and forwards. Agnes, the eating housekeeper's right ear. Can you hear anything? He asked the man. Yes, sir, I can. The eating housekeeper replied. Now, can you still hear something? The Hoja asked. As he shook the two pennies together against the man's left ear. Yes, sir, I can still hear the pennies shaking together. But why are you doing this? The Hoja put the pennies back in his pocket and answered, Surely the sound of money is a fair payment for the smell of food. You have therefore been paid twice and that is more than enough. Let this poor traveler continue his journey. How is the story children? I hope you enjoyed a lot with this story. Children, 
in our next class i will explain the worksheet about the witty nasruddin children you will get beautiful stories also so wait for my next video until then bye bye